I have never been more excited in my life. Today we are going to pick up our new puppy. Oh my god. The puppy I showed you guys on Instagram. We ended up getting her. Oh, and we're going to go pick her up today. We have to go drive about an hour out of town to go pick her up. We're going to meet him at a Petco. Um, I found her on Craigslist, so I'm like a little nervous. So we we're supposed to bring cash. And so one of us will have cash in the car. The other one will actually go meet the mini schnauzer, make sure that our girl is actually there. And then the transaction will happen. But... I'm really, really excited about this. I've wanted another schnauzer for a little bit. Ours are getting older, and, you know, when your dogs get older, you're just like, you don't want to be without a dog. Like, that would be the worst, and you don't want to replace a dog either. So, I think now it's just, like, the natural time to get another dog. So, I thought I would take you guys along on the journey. We've thought about some names. Right now, our number one name is Abigail, um, because we like Abby, we like Gail, we like Abigail, so I think she's going to be Abigail, but you never know. Like, when you get a dog, you kind of have to, like, see what its spirit is like, you know what I mean, and its attitude, and we'll see if it actually is an Abigail, but Abigail is what we're thinking right now. I just got the crate set up for her. Now, this made it feel real because our dogs sleep in the bed with us, so they're not, like, crate trained. They just come in here, and we have a baby gate where they just can't get out, but they have hard work surfaces, you know what I mean, in case they have an accident or anything like that. But I have not had a crate in my, like, house, like, set up since they were puppies. Like, this is actually the one that Maxwell had when he was a puppy, and so... We're reusing it. It's really starting to feel real now. I made a chicken tortilla soup from scratch for us for dinner. And I threw it in a crock pot because I'm really bad about like resorting to eating out when we get home late and we'll be getting home late since we have to drive an hour away to pick up this dog. So I thought it'd be best to just have dinner ready. So this is what's gonna be for dinner. This also made it feel really real. I got her a little green collar. I didn't want to go with pink, but I wanted something kind of gender neutral. So we got the green and we have a long leash with poop bags because we'll be taking her on lots of walks and she's a puppy and can't leave her mess behind. All right, you guys, it's time for day three's treats and we're going to do day four's treats as well. So let's get them open. You guys know these are a struggle for me, so... I'll just have to stop it right here and magic will happen. Ready for the reveal of day three? It's more of those fucking bites. Like, I swear, I think that this whole calendar is just going to be these bites. And they're going to say that they're three different types of meat, even though they all look exactly the same. And let's open up four. More bites. Wait, there's three in this one. Uh-oh. I guess I'm going to have to split one of them. Or wait, should I leave this one for when the new puppy is here since it's three? I think it's meant to be. I can't believe that there was three in one of these because they're all supposed to have four. But one had three, so we'll save day four until the puppy comes. And let's give them day three. Maxwell, Oliver, come here. Sit. These are your last treats as just you two. Now, from now on, it'll be another one. Just like I'm not interested in that. Yeah, that's it for today. That We're not going to do two for today. Just one. I'm sorry. And we got some new wax. You know we had to do a dispensary haul. We got Maxwell and Oliver some little cookies from the bakery in Petco. Just as like a, you know, we still love you just as much type of gift. Please don't bully our new baby. <gasps> I 
Let's not be used to a leash yet. Let's see if you'll go on the wall. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Estrella. Hello, hello, hello. Come on, Estrella. Hello, hello, hello. Come on. Hello, hello, hello. Come on. Yeah. It's a lot. It's so much. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on, Miss Ella, 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 Ella. Come on. God bless you. She's like, to not know how to walk Come yet. On. Come on. She does not know. She's just so excited. probably wondering why they're named Ella if at the beginning of this video you said you were gonna name her Abigail and um, probably also wondering why am I in something different if this is the same day because it's not it's not <laughs> um, first night was a little rough and it wasn't because of her it was because of our current dogs Maxwell and Oliver were just like a little bit territorial and they kept barking so we're having to do very slow introductions it's been a couple days now though, and they're now able to like look at her in the crate and not go absolutely insane, which is a huge improvement because every time they used to see her, they would go crazy. They would just start barking and it would scare poor baby Ella. And so, yeah, we've just been working on that very slowly, but it, I've seen some improvement. So everything's gonna work out. It's just when you get a new pup and you got two other ones, you gotta introduce them into the pack slowly. Um, Territorial, but Ella has been the sweetest little baby girl ever. Like, I've never had a puppy that let me sleep through the night, and she's actually let me sleep through the night. The first night was 6 a.m. wake up, and then the second night was 8 a.m. So she's getting a little bit later, which is amazing because I don't like to wake up that early, but I will for you. I will for you. She's so sweet. She's four months old. She's fully vaccinated. So I don't have to worry about taking her to the vet until a year. Like she's due at a year to go to the vet. And that's when we take her, which is amazing because those vaccines are really frequent when they're a puppy and they're expensive. I remember like, I'm so glad that that's already done. She's already crate trained, which is way different than our schnauzers. Our schnauzers sleep in the bed with us. Um, she actually sleeps in a crate and I slept like on the couch right outside of the crate and as long as I was in the same room as her she was fine. The minute I left she was not having it but she has been like the perfect puppy for us seeing as we did have so many problems with our two schnauzers that we have now as far as like introducing a new puppy to them. Um, cause she's been such an angel. I feel like I'm not having to deal with all those puppy things because she's four months old and she's been trained quite a bit. So she's been a really, really sweet baby girl. Right. And you don't want to give me your kiss. You just snip my nose that time. Oh. She's darker than what I thought she was going to be based off of the pictures, which I'm so excited about because Maxwell's like a platinum silver um, salt and pepper schnauzer. And then we have Oliver that's the white schnauzer. And now we have a black and white schnauzer, Miss Ella. Oh, and so why she's Ella? So we got her from a Latin man. And when they gave us like her vet records, it said Estrella on it. And I was like... I can't be that person who like names, like takes away my dog's heritage. Like if she had the name Estrella, calling her Abigail would just be like, I don't know, it just goes against everything I believe in. So it's just like, we're gonna keep her named Estrella. That's her full name, Estrella. And um, we'll call her Ella because we really like the name Ella anyway. So I think it all worked out perfect. I can't believe that you were already named the perfect name to Estrella. And she already knows her name. She knows how to sit. She knows how to fetch. She's really, really smart. Really smart and really, really sweet. Like, I couldn't be happier. She was worth all that money. She really, really was. Like, you were worth every penny, Ella. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my baby girl. Cause she's the sweetest. Like, I literally can't believe it. <sighs> like it literally <laughs> makes me want to tear up. I'm not gonna cry in this video, but I've wanted another mini schnauzer for so long. And the fact that I have you and you're healthy and you're happy and you're smart. Like, I love that you're so smart. Like, ugh. It just makes things so much easier. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys around for whatever stony activity or video I come up with for next time. It may not be stony because this is Vlogmas and not every video is stony. I mean, this one's not. This is just filled with puppy. <laughs> she doesn't have much of a puppy breath yet. Like she kind of does. Her breath just kind of stinks, but it's not like that traditional puppy breath, but she does flop around, which is adorable. Anyways, bye guys. Ella, sit. Good girl. You're such a good girl. Ugh. You're too cute. She needs a haircut, but I can't give her one. Like, I just can't make myself do it because this fur is so soft. This little puppy fur is so soft and silky. But I'm going to have to because you can barely see right now. <laughs> Bye, guys. Whee! <laughs> All right, Ella, you want to show them your fetch skills? This is her favorite so far, this little carrot toy. You ready? Go get it. Yay! The fact that she brings it back, like, she must have already been trained on fetch. Yay! You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. She could never get tired of this. Like, I could literally do this all day. Puppies have so much energy. <laughs> Go get it. Those little hops. They're adorable.